Hey everyone, Jake from Optimus Futures here bringing you another video. In today's demonstration, I'll be going over the advanced server-side order execution capabilities of the CQG data feed. And to demonstrate this, I'll be using the TradingView platform on my left and MT5, known as MetaTrader 5, here on my right. So if you haven't seen the last couple of videos we made in this, this video series, we've demonstrated this advanced order execution capability specifically with server-side orders on the CQG data feed using these two platforms. Now in the other videos, we view CQG desktop as sort of the main hub to demonstrate this. We wanted to make this video to demonstrate that you don't actually need to have CQG desktop in the equation. All you need is a platform compatible with CQG. Now, in order to log into both platforms concurrently, you do need to request an additional login. So if you have a CQG account from us and you're interested in doing this, just let us know. We'll get you configured for a concurrent login, and that will allow you to log into both platforms at the same time. Otherwise, if you attempt to do this without asking, you may get kicked off when you try and log into TradingView. And then on MT5, they may fight for connection and only one will connect. This is how CQG works natively, but if you request an additional login, we have no problem doing so, and it'll allow you to log in both, as you can see here. I'm logged in with the same account, I have the same balance, all the same data, all the same orders, same positions. It's all connected through CQG in their servers. And again, like I said, if for whatever reason you ever lose power, you ever lose internet, if you're in a position or working order, those will remain on the CQG server, if you need to, you can pull up CQG desktop or CQG mobile to manage those positions or wait until your internet comes back up and those positions will be there. Now, before I move on and before we start placing any orders, I just want to mention that any trades made in this video are purely hypothetical and they're just for demonstration. I would also like to mention that we'll be using stops or take profits in these videos. And contingent orders such as those, especially stops, are never guaranteed to get filled based on market conditions. So please get, keep that in mind. Uh, we always encourage you to be in front of your computer when trading. Or if you have CQG, in this case, and you have the CQG mobile app, if for whatever reason you do lose power or you need to step away, it's best that you monitor those, monitor those positions from your phone if you have the capability to do so. It's one of the great things about CQG, and it's one of the main reasons we wanted to make this video. So let's get in there and show you how it works. So if you watched our other videos, it's very similar. If you place an order on TradingView, the order will show up on MT5 and vice versa. So let's start off with TradingView. And because this is a live account, I'm going to place an order pretty low, uh, pretty below the market. That way we don't get any unexpected fills and uh, we can manage these orders easier. So I'm going to place a buy limit. I'm going to place it again quite a bit below the market, and I'm going to place it at 4040. Type in my parameters, get everything set up. I'll do a quantity of one. And again, you could see this is on the MES on both platforms. This is the MES June contract of 2021. I have this on my right here on my chart on MT5 as well. So if I place this order at 4040, you'll see it appears on my chart on TradingView. And as you can see, it shows on MT5 as well. We can see here in my trading section down at the bottom, we placed the exact order we just talked about at 1759. You can see that's a current time on my local computer. It's 1.59 p.m. Eastern time. It's a buy limit order with a quantity of one at the price of 4040. If we look in the bottom left, the trading view here, it's the same exact order. Buy limit, quantity of one, 4040. So now this is where the, you know, the fun begins. You can manage it on either platform you like. So we have some traders that use MT5 that use them for their expert advisors or custom scripts that they created. Maybe they don't have the charting or analysis capabilities on MT5. And they want to use TradingView as a backup platform in order to get that, you know, technical analysis they need. There's a ton of awesome user created and custom scripts or indicators on TradingView that aren't available anywhere else. And because you're on the CQG data feed, you're not just locked into TradingView. You can use any platform you like that's compatible with it with, through us. So again, we see the same order on both platforms. If you want to, you could technically manage it on one platform, modify my order. And you could see it instantly got modified on MT5 as well. Now, I do have a much larger time frame here 
on my left chart um, on trading view so that order got thrown off the screen just a little bit so if we condense the y-axis down our prices you could see we modified our order at 39.83.75 the same thing that trading view shows now so far we've only modified and placed orders off of trading view what happens if we modify or place orders off fd5 well let's see if we go ahead let's say i want to cancel out of this position i can just close click on the x in the bottom right of mt5 and as you can see the second i do that on trading view in the bottom left we get our order confirmation our order id it let us know that the you know the limit order we just placed was canceled you can see it in my uh, orders, my all orders. You can see it was actually canceled here. So um, that's one example of placing orders. And like I said, let's do it on the, the opposite end. Let's go ahead and place an order on MT5 now. So let's say you're a chart trader. You want to place a buy limit at 40.32.50. I go ahead, place that order. In the second I do so, you can see it automatically pops up on trading view. So as you can see, this is nearly instant. All these orders reside on CQG servers. So the second you place it on one platform, it'll automatically get it on the other. This works as we've shown with CQG Desktop, CQG Mobile. CQG has their own platform, CQG Desktop, um, QTrader, multi-charts is compatible, MotiveWave. There's a ton of different platforms this works with. We wanted to show TradingView and MT5 because these are two of the most popular platforms that works with uh, with the CQG data feed and um, yeah, it, it's seamless. It, it, it works really well. Some users prefer some features on one platform. Some prefer features on other platforms. Some may use, like I mentioned, TradingView for analysis, but they want to use the platform for execution, you know, that has different capabilities, order execution, maybe faster order execution. I've said it in the past, but you know, sometimes when placing bracket orders on trading view for example it may take some time to you know sit here and type out your take profit or stop loss legs where on other platforms it's just a one click and that's the beauty of it you're not locked into one platform you could use a cqg data feed it allowed you to use both at the same time as long as you request a concurrent login and it's seamless so you get the best of both worlds the best of both platforms the great ex order execution you're expecting and server side orders, which are reliable. So let's go through a couple more examples to wrap this up. Again, if I want to place an order on MT5, I right click on the section I want to place my order at uh, for chart trading at least. So if I click above the market, you'll see you'll get a sell limit order. I go ahead and place that in the second I do. If I just drag this down a little bit again, we have our order here on trading view. If I want to get out of this again, I could just cancel it on MT5. Uh, we've already shown canceling orders on MT5, so let's go ahead and let's get out on Trading View this time. Just need to make this a bit bigger so I can cancel this out. And boom, we have just canceled our sell limit order that we originally placed on MT5, and we've now modified it on Trading View. So you can see it, it's very seamless. This may not be for everybody, but again, we just wanted to show you that you do have flexibility when it comes to the CQG data feed and using multiple platforms. You're not locked into any one solution. This may not be for everybody, but that's okay. For those users who do need multiple platforms at the same time, who need server-side order execution and prefer one platform for analysis and one platform for execution, this is going to be your best method of doing so. It's seamless. All it requires is an additional login. And we truly hope this does help. Um, again, if you do have a CQG account in, with us and you're interested in doing so, just let us know. We'll help you out. If you aren't configured for MT5 or TradingView and you need help with that, just let us know. All you need to be is configured uh, on the CQG data feed and both of these platforms are available to you at your disposal. So again, we hope this video helped. Uh, just wanted to mention, I know I've placed stops and limits in this in this video. These are never guaranteed to get filled due to marking conditions. So again, we always encourage you to be in front of your PC when trading or at least have it open on the mobile app so you can manage your positions. Um, and again, these trades were purely hypothetical. Uh, just wanted to demonstrate the server side order capabilities of 
the CQG data feed using trading view on my left and MT5 on my right. Thanks again. If you do have any questions, please visit our community forum. That's community.optimistfutures.com. And uh, we hope this video helped. Thanks a lot and have a great day.